What's going on everybody? Gene G here, back with another overnight adventure in the tiny boat. Well, we're coming to spend a night out here. We're just cruising around right now. We got some deer burgers we're gonna make tonight. With some smother, uh, we're gonna, well, not smother, we're gonna make some mashed potatoes. <laughs> and uh, you gonna try to get some fishing done, Lil G? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what you gonna try to catch? Shoe pig, bass, and catfish? Yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't go in the fire by the bass. Nope, nope. Alright. We're gonna uh, cruise on around. And uh, try to wet a line for a little bit. So we'll catch y'all back in a little while. Riding along, checking out this little spot. See if I can show y'all. It's a uh, like a little back bay off of the main river. Getting a little shallow. Y'all can see them stirring up mud. We might have to turn around. Yeah, it's just a little. It looks like a big body, but it's very shallow. The main river's off that way. So we just come explore this, see what we see. Yeah, back up in there is where we just come from. It's getting kind of shallow, so we turn around. Well, you can see it splits right here. That's the main river. And that was that little flat we was in. Oh, got Lil G at the wheel. While we slew cruising along. Beautiful day today. Beautiful day. Clear sun shining. It is a little hot. But overall ain't too bad. Date. We rode around for a while, didn't find too much interesting, so I ain't video. But uh, we come around down this other little bayou, find us a little spot to park for the night. So right now, I'm just getting our meal prepared. I got some uh, deer ground meat, mixing it with some batter, uh, not batter, breading. A little salt and pepper and seasoning. And we're gonna try some of these uh, canned good potatoes. I guess I'll throw some butter and kind of make like a mashed potato go on top of the uh, deer patty. But that's what we got going on right now. I'm gonna finish preparing this. And we'll go in and we'll start cooking it up.
OG. You ready to eat? Yep. Well, come on. It's ready. Yeah, there we got it. Deer burgers, mashed potatoes, a little fresh broccoli, some cherry tomatoes. About to try it out. Good morning, guys. Oh, get us a good old cup of fresh coffee in. I just love the morning time. Everything's calm, quiet. My favorite time of the day, waking up and drinking that first cup of coffee. It was about, I don't know, 5.30 in the morning. 5 o'clock, somewhere around there. Still got a little ways for daylight. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy, enjoy my coffee. And I guess uh, might go try to do a little fishing this morning early before it get too hot. But once little G wake up, we'll see what he got planned. I'm sure he's gonna wanna go fishing. So if that's what we do, We'll bring y'all, see if we can catch something. Good morning, G. You want to go? You want to go fishing? Let's get your life jacket on and. We're going to start heading out this bayou. Like little G's gone. 
get them a little nap in while we're on our way to the little fishing spot. Well, we just gonna take our time. We gonna slew cruise it down. Ain't no rush. I got him a nice little cabin off that way. Cool little cabin. Kind of hard to see it, but anyways, just getting back to the main river right now. That we is headed towards Morgan City. This way is going towards Plaquemine. You can follow this. You can go all the way to Baton Rouge. Cut through the locks, and you'll be in the Mississippi River. this morning with the sun starting to come over the tree line. Really nice morning. Well, I think we're gonna come try to throw the line right here. Got that little small canal right there that goes to that little lake. If you watched our previous videos that we will go to. But uh, it's usually a pretty good little spot where them fish are running in and out that little channel, coming to the main channel. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna perch ourselves up right here. We're gonna wet the line for a little while and see what happens. Little G still napping. I'm sure he'll wake up as soon as he uh, hear about a fish on the pole though. All right, man, we're gonna get set up. Throw that pole out there, see what goes on. Boy, it sure is a beautiful morning. Humidity levels down, so the air feels nice, real nice. It's like 70, 73 degrees and feel kind of cool, actually. Down here in South Louisiana, ain't often we get some good dry air. Usually it's humid and you can cut it with a knife. Go throw them back in the water and let them get bigger. You did a kick flip. You did a kick flip. Yeah. Perfect spot. Oh, another small one. Can I have this one in the bayou? Yeah, the fishing's a little slow. Huh? We got two small ones, but uh. Still waiting on some big ones to start running. 
I'm thinking they might be chasing the little shad right now this time of the year, so uh, they might not be liking the old night crawlers. But we'll give it about another hour or so. See if the size goes up. You got the net ready, bro? I think we got a good one. Oh, he's a fighter. That feel like a carp. That's acting like a carp. Yep, sure is. Oh, Casper goo. Try to get him in the net. There you go, you got it, too heavy. Oh, man. Look at that big old white carp. And them things fight, boy. They good to eat, too. It's just a little bony. Can we eat it? Nah, we ain't gonna eat this one. A little nice little white carp. They fun to catch, boy. They pull hard. You can swear you got a big old fish on there. All right, we're gonna set him on back. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yep, that's the size that we're looking for right there. Of course, I ain't get it on video, but we got one nice one. I think we well, we're gonna keep this one because he swallowed the hook and he's gonna die anyway. Well, continue on. Oh well, little update. Fishing slow. We just got that uh, one keeper. That was big enough to keep. But uh, we done put the poles in. I think we will go ride around a little bit. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean that one fish because he swallowed the hook. And he was going to die anyway. So we're going to clean him up. And I got some breakfast sausage. And we'll have us a brunch. Eat your piece of uh, filet with some breakfast sausage. It ought to be pretty good. There we go. Two little nice fillets. It's gonna be our little brunch. Found us a nice little spot in the shade to come cook up our fish and sausage. Look at little G over here. What you doing, buddy? Shoot my gun. Huh? About to shoot my gun. About to shoot your gun? You got it, cop? <laughs> does, it, does it shoot on green? It gotta be red. It was red, but I think it's Whoa. Yep. Bounce back. All right, well, little G, go play with his gun. I'm gonna start getting everything ready. And I'll bring y'all back after a while.
or little fillets. They made a soda, a jug out of a catfish, or they made a, uh, yep, they made them a jug to catch catfish out of a soda bottle. Uh, we got to make us some. The sausage smelling good? Yeah. Yeah? It always smells like you Mm. What? They're yummy. It's hot. Good little breakfast. I let it cool a minute. We go enjoy a little picnic. We go slow cruise on back to the house. This breakfast was good, G. It's yummy. Give my big thumbs up. Time to head in? Huh? Time to head in? Oh, cypress tree full of moss. Y'all check out this. Y'all see this cut through the woods? Look like a trail cut through. That's what they used to use when they did the cypress logging way back, I think, around the 1930s. They cut these trails out, and they used to have a big boat they put out in the main bayou, and they would run cables down there. And as they would cut them big old old growth cypress trees, that's how they would pull them out through here. Just figured out, sure, y'all, some of them things can run four or five miles deep. When the water's high enough, you can ride through them and all that. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope y'all enjoyed a little overnight adventure. Hopefully, we have many more to come. How about you, little G? You had fun? Yeah, thank you for all the subscribers. Oh, yeah. And thanks for all the subscribers we've been getting. We appreciate it. Y'all showing a lot of support for our little adventures we've been doing. And we look forward to bringing y'all more. So until next time, y'all be safe, have a good one, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.